in this lecture i am going to tell you about uh, formatting the output in python this video is brought to you by abipies academy when we people use print statement we can print our output in our desired manner there are various ways to format our output one of the important methods is using the modulus operator percentage so i will be giving you first i will be giving you the examples that use percentile symbol which is called modulus operator so this is my first statement suppose i write print i have already opened a python program okay percentile i happen to write suppose 5 so this is nothing else uh, uh, i'm just writing print f percentile d percentile d sorry percentile d percentile 5 so i would execute the program as you can see the output is quite simple uh, i have used percentile d these are called formatting specifiers uh the people among you who have done c language they are well versed with these format specifiers called percentile d percentile f percentile u percentile ld etc but uh, um, uh, c uh, python does not support anything called printf but in uh, print statement it supports these format specifiers percentile d this is a format specifier which stands for which is used at the time of printing and integer so percentile d after that not comma but another percentile symbol then you will give the number that you want to print so what has happened is 5 is printed as it is it's a very simple example here we don't see any benefit of using this format specifier okay uh, so let me make it clear percentile d whole will be called format specifier and simple percentile will be called modulus operator or simple modulo okay now what i am going to do is i would write suppose 20d modulus 20d percentile symbol 20d and then i am going to print this number 5 again i will execute by pressing control shift f you can see the difference now i have written percentile 20d what does it mean it means that at the time of printing the number i am going to use i am going to consume 20 columns but the number 5 consists of only one column it's a one digit number what will happen to the other 19 columns they will be left blank but they will be leading blanks they will be leading blanks so that means these blank spaces will be left in the beginning so that means now in this example there are 19 spaces blank spaces and fifth is occupying the 20th column so percentile 20d means that okay they can be in the form of variables also suppose i have got a variable value is 100 and here instead of 5 i happen to write var so you might have understood because i have used percentile 20d and var consists of four digits so how many uh, how many uh, uh, blanks spaces will be there 16 control shift f10 so 16 spaces blank spaces are being left in the beginning these are your leading blanks and 1000 it consists of four digits so 16 blank spaces plus these four digits total number of 20 columns are there as simple as that let's uh, proceed further and let me tell you one thing mm, i am going to put the sprint statement in the command let's move further now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use negative symbol negative i would write suppose percentile something 15 or d and comma the variable var i'm going to print the variable var now interestingly minus symbol what it will do is it will 
leave the blank spaces not in the beginning of the number but after the number such blank spaces are called trailing blanks they are called training blanks when they are after the number so i will show you right now so i am writing minus percentile 15d then percentile var control shift f10 so trailing blanks are going to be there so what has happened is the value this is minus 15d so it was sorry percentile minus 15d control shift f10 as you can see 1000 now is being printed in the beginning here we cannot see we cannot see the trailing blanks but they are there how many they are 15 minus 4 that means 11 blank spaces are there but they are leading not trailing how can we come to know about this okay i can do one thing i can write here mm, percentile s remember percentile s is the format specifier mentioned for strings so what i will do is another thing i will have to do is i will have to make a list var comma and here let me give something like mahajan computers this is our string it's a string constant it could have been a variable also control shift f10 percentile where okay one parenthesis is needs to be closed control shift f10 now you can see the result had there been not spaces after printing 1000 had not been there uh, uh, 11 spaces uh, after this uh, after printing this number 1000 mahajan computers would have been printed by would have been printed immediately after this value 1000 now it is getting printed after 11 spaces why because 1000 value has got leading blanks trailing blanks sorry not leading trailing blanks so after printing this value of var there is minus 15 d percentile minus 15 d so it was supposed to take 15 spaces and it has taken but the actual number was only four digits so these are total 15 spaces so after leaving 11 spaces what it has done is it has printed mahajan computers again let me repeat it when we are supposed to print a string we are supposed to we are required to use percentile s format specifier this is how things work let's move further and let's see uh, like uh, suppose i want to print a uh, print an octa number what i would do is print percentile o okay then percentile i give some number any number now what is my requirement is this number 1765 by default which is in decimal number system i want this number to be printed in octal number system control shift f10 as you can see 3345 is the octal number equivalent to 1765 which is our decimal number system right so again now what i am going to do is what I am going to do is now I will show you how to print the number in exponential format. Print, you would write print and percentile symbol. Then you can give anything like 5.2 e. E could be small or it could be capital percentile some value 900.97 something now what i want to do is i want to print this number 
900.987 but not plainly i want to print it in exponential form that is scientific no notation so this is how the things will go control shift f10 okay this is the output now the value 900.987 is getting printed you can see here in exponential so as you mean exponential here means 9.01 multiplied by 10 raised to power 02 so it will come out to be almost 900.987 so this is how we can do uh, before that uh, let me tell you suppose there is a uh, let me have a variable suppose temperature for temperature temp i happen to have a value 44.34567 something i want to print it and by using this format specifier f is used for float percentile i write 8.2 f okay comma then temp now what does it mean see carefully this whole percent and 8.2 f would be called format specifier okay then now see percent and 8.2 8.2 means the total number of digits that will be allowed is the total number of columns that will be allowed is 8 and within it the two spaces will be reserved for the decimal digits so 8 is inclusive of these two de de decimal digits so percentile 8.2 f when i will execute this program yes you can see like it's printing uh, percentile 2 here it should have been percentile so what has happened is uh, it's printing percentile 8.2 f right and the value of temp is 45.34567 as you can see the value of temp is being printed 45.35 so it is taking only two decimal digits because it was percentile 8.2 so 2 stands for the number of digits to be printed after the decimal digit after the decimal and 8 means the total number of digits that are allowed so this is how we can do it now similarly you people can let me put it into comments similarly you people can deal with let me have let me have a variable name is equal to suppose it's anand mahajan so name 2 is equal to alan david I am going to use print percentile s then I would write suppose slash t percentile s then percentile within parenthesis name then comma name 2 value of name is Anand Mahajan and value of name 2 is Alan David let's execute the program control shift f10 so as you can see anand mahajan alan david both are getting printed and the space in between is because of this escape sequence slash t slash t will create tab space right had it been slash n it would have taken the control to the next line 
as you can see after printing anand mahajan it has taken the control to the next line and alan david was printed on the next line now here also we people can use percentile ts control shift f10 and the output is very obvious anand mahajan was printed but only after leaving some blank spaces how many blank spaces total number of columns were granted as 20 uh, in anand mahajan including the space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13 total 13 spaces are there in anand mahajan but we had allocated 20 so rest are 7 so 7 spaces will be these will be the leading spaces right so similarly had it been like this in the second case i happen to write minus something like suppose 30 let it be a big figure so it's going to be minus 30 percentile s and this is for name 2 yes as we can see because i have used this negative symbol so there are going to be trailing blanks and not leading blanks so all these blank spaces they will be after they will be after printing alan david can you tell me there will be how many uh, how many trailing blank spaces total number was 30 in the form of minus right and Alan David, Alan David took how many spaces? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 spaces. Right. So 30 minus 10, 20. So the, this means all these, all these trailing blanks, they are, all these trailing blanks, they are 20. Right. So this is how modulus operator works while formatting the uh, formatting the values be it numeric values like int float or be it strings